think somebody ought to give him some praise in here. Somebody ought to give him some praise in here. So many pastors here. I don't want to start to hang on. Just to all the pastors who are here, Amen. Can they all stand so we can recognize them? Amen. All the pastors who are here, Amen. Let's recognize them. Amen. 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 And all clergy, and all clergy. Okay. Give honor to Reverend Mark Simmons and his wife. Amen. Let's give them a hand. To North Baptist, to all visiting churches, and to all saints of God. It is always good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Keeps coming that down on me. But I don't, I don't take this for granted. There are so many other preachers in here who could stand before us. Uh, so I just take it as an honor. Amen. Amen. But I have uh, three keep it's that I just want to tell you about. I want to keep it real. Amen. I want to keep it plain. Amen. And I want to keep it quick. Amen. I always get the most amens. So. Amen. <laughs> But if you just give me about seven minutes and 52 seconds, I'll be out. I'll be out your, your way. Amen? Amen. 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 I am going to ask you if you would open your Bibles to the book of Mark. To the book of Mark, chapter 4. And I'm going to read verses 35 through 41. Once again, that's Mark 4, 35 through 41. The English Standard Version reads as follows. On that day, when the evening had came, he said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. And other boats were with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves were breaking into the boat, so that the boat was already filling. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they awoke him and said, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? And he awoke and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. He said to them, Why are you so afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great fear and said one to another, Who then is this that even the wind and sea obey him? Uh, my topic, if you allow me to speak just for a few moments, is remember who's on the boat. Let us bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we thank you Lord, for this day that you have given us thus far. We thank you for what you have done in this place. Now, God, sit me down that you may stand up, that a word will go forth that we all could apply to our lives right here, right now. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Remember who is on the boat. Every boat typically has a captain. And, and, and let me tell you a little bit about a captain. 
Uh, the captain is responsible for its safe and efficient operation. The captain is responsible for the ship's seaworthiness, the ship's safety and security conditions, its cargo operation, navigation, crew management, and ensuring that the vessel complies with local and international laws as well as the flag state policies. The captain is responsible for all persons on board, particularly during navigation, including public authorities, state authorities, officers and crew, other shipboard staff members, passengers, guests, and pilots are all under the captain's authority and are his or her ultimate responsibility. The captain has special responsibilities when a ship or its cargo are damaged, or when the ship causes damage to other vehicles or facilities. Also, in the case of injury or death of a crew member or passenger, the captain also acts as a liaison to local investigators. The captain, as one can see, has many responsibilities and is leading everyone on that boat. Therefore, it is vital that under any circumstance, the captain is able to remain calm because his panic has the potential to cause chaos. Oh, come on, somebody. Could you imagine being on a cruise ship and the captain Captain, go over the speaker and tell everybody he don't know what they're going to do. Come on, somebody. Could you imagine the chaos? Because my leader is starting to panic. Well, I'm here to let you know, North Baptist, uh, that God has placed a captain on this boat. And God has already equipped the captain for the duty. And even though you may have voted, the vote did not put him in the captain's seat. It was nothing but, come on, somebody, but God. And to the captain of the boat. I charge you to remember who is on the boat and who put you as captain. Uh, so here in the story, Jesus was laboring all day in the Word. He was, he was teaching and he was healing and he tells his disciples, let's get into the boat and go to the other side. Now, 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 many of us know that the city of Galilee, by the location, was well known for its sudden serious storms. And so, in comes a storm. I need to stop right there. You see, because, look at this, uh, uh, we get mixed up about storms. Now, we know that Jonah faced a storm because of his disobedience. And here, the disciples faced a storm because of their obedience. See, sometimes we think storms storms just come when we're doing wrong. But just like a hurricane, a storm can come with your name on it. It can come as Hurricane North Baptist. It can come as Hurricane Pastor Mark Simmons. The difference between the damage done is the difference of preparation. Uh, well, well, we, we, we see later that Jesus was able to calm the storm, which means Jesus could have prevented the storm. I, I, I need to go back. We, 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 we saw later that Jesus was able to calm the storm. And so if he was able to calm the storm, Jesus could have prevented the storm. But you see, sometimes storms are permitted to come for our benefit. Uh, you see, storms teaches church. Uh, it teaches us faith. It, it teaches how to work together. It teaches us that we're able to handle it, watch this, with God. And then if you're truly honest with yourself, uh, some of us would have never entered into church if you didn't go through a storm. Uh, the kind of storm that you searched all over for the answers and you realize that the only answer was God. Uh, and, and, so, and so here, look at this. We have some experienced fishermen who have fished on this lake time after time after time who were well aware of the storms. These fishermen, I, I mean, uh, the, these disciples who I'm sure have gone through other storms, but yet they start to panic. Yeah. It reminds me, I'm going to keep it real, y'all, it, it reminds me of seasoned church folk who have already gone through some storms. They've been, been through some big storms, but yet still panic when the wind starts to blow. They start to panic when it just starts to drizzle a little bit. I didn't even say it started to storm. Come on, somebody. I said the wind started to blow a little bit. It started to drizzle, and we break out into a big panic. 
And, and so now the, 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 the fishermen, the, the, the disciples are in a paddock. You know, I realized in life people panic uh, when they don't feel like they have physical control of the situation. Well, I, I want to let you know, I want to let somebody know that you won't have physical control of all situations. But that is when you recognize who has all control of every situation. You see, for some reason, what happens is that when storms come, we get the extreme case of amnesia. Oh, y'all, now let me repeat that. For some reason, when, when storms come and they arise, we, we, we get the extreme case of amnesia. We forget that the only reason we can even experience the current storm is because God got us out of the other storm before. And the same God who got you out of that storm is the same God that's put you in this storm. And if he was able to deliver me then, come on, son, then he's able to deliver me. Uh, right now. Uh, so, so, so the word states that they came and they, they, they woke Jesus up. As I ponder here, it, isn't it something how Jesus was sleeping through what the disciples call here a major storm? Uh, he was sleeping through the, the, the crashes of the waves. He, he was sleeping through the quandary that was going on above. He, he was sleeping through the, the fish hitting the deck. He was sleeping through the, the confusion of the disciples. But, but, but he heard the cry of the disciples when they called out his name. How many of us know that Jesus hears our cry? You see, some of us want to quit too early because you don't think he's acting fast enough. But really, his time is the perfect time. He hears our cry. But not only that, many times when we are in things, we are in things by ourselves because we don't cry out his name. You ever hear somebody say, God doesn't help me? God's not looking out for me. How come God's never, when was the last time you talked to God? When's the last time you went to a prayer meeting?